Is it Z you're looking for? I can see it on the screen. He's right there next to me. And we have some answers for your questions. Oh, you killed it. I know. <laughs> you so know. killed it. I don't know the rest of that song. I have to like, hello, that's all I got. All right. Hi, everybody. Uh, thanks for tuning in. We're going to do a little Q&A today. And uh, before we get to that, though, we just saw Spider-Man Homec Homecoming trailer. And Homecoming. These guys thought I was trolling them. He's like, oh, did you guys see the new Spider-Man trailer? We're like, shut up. There's no new Spider-Man trailer. There is a Spider-Man trailer. They're so disconnected. It's, it's like they were on a cruise or something. <laughs> it's, it's awesome looking. That, that, that trailer is sweet. And my favorite part, honestly... Is Michael Keaton? Yeah, I'm. So, I'm like more, way more psyched now just to know that he's in it. Are you, I love Michael Keaton. Kind of hoping that he's Vulture. Yeah, I'm kind of hoping he's in it a lot. I don't even yeah. care what he does. I like I, Michael Keaton is one of those actors that I just I never get tired of seeing. You know. So anyway, we are here to answer some of your questions. We will do this. Um, the way we've been doing them typically lately, we'll do a bunch of questions at the beginning, and we'll do some quick fire round oh, stuff at the right. end. Tom's moderating. Tom's right there moderating as well, yeah. So, um, yeah, let's. What were your best and worst food experiences on the cruise? Blue! Oh, I know my worst one. What was it? That tiramisu. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Poet didn't know it. Tiramisu, what's wrong with you? Yeah, yes. tiramisu, it, it had. Okay, first of all, the menu said a hint, hint, H-I-N-T, hint of Kahlua. There was much, much more than a hint of Kahlua. It's like this thing was drenched in Kahlua, and that's why he liked it, and that's why I hated it, because it was way... I took one bite, and I felt I had drank an entire shot. It was disgusting. My favorite food experience. <laughs> you were like you were like slogging that in front of everybody. Well, I had to run to the show, to the live show. So I'm like, I'm not leaving this tiramisu here. That, that would be a crime against uh, foods unknown. And so I, I took it with me. Yeah, no, the tiramisu was slamming. I, I really liked it. The desserts, I feel, were largely the highlights, honestly. I guess my mm. the, the low light for me would be that there were not that many shrimp dishes, and I'm a big sucker for shrimp. So there were only like the last night there were a couple of shrimp choices, you but most the of the nights there were. Huh? You, got, you got the prawn. I think I did get the prawn. Yeah. Um, so that that's it. But honestly, the food was spectacular. Pretty much all all of it, you know, and the desserts were definitely a highlight for me. Probably my highlight of the uh, was the last night that we were there because we had the absolute best server mm -hmm. ever. I mean, we ordered our entrees, and then we're we're like digging into our entrees, and he's like, "Oh yeah, by the way, here's one of everything else that was on the menu." <laughs> and I was like, "Just without you asking?" Yeah, just without us asking, he just brought it to the table, and we split them all up, and this guy was amazing. So. Just the, the whole meal. I, I can't say one individual dish was better than any others, but um, that last cool. night was really cool. So Siri apparently has been listening on my watch. Holy Here's what she text, picked up. Batman. Here's what Siri heard. Hey, Siri, hear that. Oh, no, 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 you erased it because ah. I said the no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she has not said that part. Wait, is that what it was saying or... No, I said I was going to read it, and I started reading, Hey Siri. <laughs> and then she, like, did that. She, like, wiped it clean. Anyway, it was a ridiculous paragraph of nonsensical text. <laughs> what else we got? Okay. Um, why were you guys wearing ties in the live show on the cruise? Because I was forced to. Actually, because it was formal to. night for the dinner, and we had to go from one directly to the other. We had the show before, right? The dinner? Yeah. yeah. Yes. And so we just, we knew we were going to have a lot of time to change. So we changed early, got ready, and then went directly to that fancy okay. schmancy dinner. Technically, I wasn't forced to, but I would have been the only schlub there with with a t-shirt and shorts on. I thought that's why you did it. And that's exactly why I did it. Because I showed up the way I said I was going to show up. 
the way this guy said he was going to show up. <laughs> I wasn't going to show up in shorts. <sighs> okay. You wouldn't have seen the shorts shirt. anyway. You, we would have only seen the t-shirt. And so I'm like headed back to the room because everybody else is like dressed up. And I'm headed back to the room and this guy, this cat walks out of the just dudded up and I'm like, yeah, you were going to leave me out to dry. Smoke, I just walked and out. So I just glide out. <clears throat> That's why. Let's get our show home. <laughs> At some point, we'll come up from the stage. Um, do you guys ever get tired of your game collections? That's an odd question. Do I ever get tired? Our personal game collections? No. Why would Why would we keep games that we're tired of? I don't know. That's a weird question. I mean, yeah. And then I get that game. Uh, I, and then I get rid of that game, I guess, you know. Do you personally watch any other board game YouTube channels? Consistently? No. Yeah, that, that would be my answer. Every once in a while, yeah, we watch other stuff. I watch other stuff. I don't know about everybody yeah, else, yeah, but, yeah, but not consistently, no. No. Too busy working on our own. <laughs> right. I know Tom's feelings on live plays, but what do you guys think about them? I feel the same way Tom does, pretty much. I don't, but that's probably because I'm the one causing the trouble half of the time. <laughs> but <laughs> but you know, I, I enjoy live plays. I think um, I think you guys enjoy live plays, which is, I guess, kind of one of the reasons why I do. Um, because I like doing things that you guys like to do. Um, like to watch, rather. Uh, plus, I think it's a lot easier than recording it, editing it, and then sticking it up. And I don't, I don't know that, I don't know that we would get that many more views if we edited them. I think we would still get the same amount of views for less work, so to speak. But I don't know. That's just me, I guess. Which of the best of 2016 lists did you like doing the most? Well, we still haven't done one that we're doing together, the uh, gaming moments. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know yet. It's too early Probably to that will be the funnest, because it's not just, hey, here's some other game, let me tell you slightly how it works, right. very quickly. I really liked it, it's spectacular, great, fantastic, wonderful, number nine, right? That list, just like a few we've done over the years that have been my favorites, are the ones that are that devolve into devolves maybe I'm probably not the right word but they become uh, about the anecdotes that we are telling you know mm -hmm. and so I think one we've got coming up is uh, going to be very much like that uh, Z some you were showing some clear strips of plastic Excuse to some people me? at Portal oh the stuff that you wrap your game in that you wrap the game oh. in and people want to know what it is it's um, just that Hugo's amazing tape stuff. It's it's vinyl tape. If you you know it's you buy a, a a roll of it, and the brand that is marketed to gamers is called Hugo's Amazing Tape. You just that it's it's vinyl, so it sticks to only itself. It's not sticky tape. It's not gonna hurt your games. You just cut a piece of it that you need. You wrap it around the game nice and tight, and it. Holds it without the lid coming off. I usually use it on, on little boxes. Those like pocket sized no thanks boxes. Because they'll just pop open. <clears throat> so I use them on those. I like it. What's your favorite Michael Keaton movie? <laughs> oh boy. I like Multiplicity. Yeah, that's fine. Um, multiplicity. That was on a. Mr. Mom. Hmm? It was? Yeah, I was on the TV on the cruise. Oh, okay. I didn't watch TV on the cruise. Just kidding, I did. I really like, I mean, one of his old movies that I think he did a fantastic job is in a, is a Clean and Sober. It's like a, it's it's maybe one of the lesser known movies from him because it's a, a dramatic it. movie, but it's fantastic. And uh, I like that a lot. But yeah, Multiplicity is hilarious. He's still my favorite Batman, too. Yeah, his Batman's great. I don't know, I just like him. I even like him when he's got bit parts and stuff. Like he did the, um, he was in the remake of the Robocop movie and he's fun in it, you know. Actually, the cast is pretty good in that movie and he's he's good in it. 
What was the hardest game to play on a moving boat? Not barfing the game. Wow. No, it wasn't that bad. Um, I don't think I. I don't think I didn't play any games that were hard that that were difficult. Yeah, I don't I mean, think we, any of the mo- the motion of the ship was not a factor on the games. Motion I, of the ocean. I don't think technically. I don't even think it would matter if you played a dexterity game. It wasn't moving that much. You think? Like you gotta play Jenga on that ship, and it would have been okay. I think. You know, what, probably. I need, to, I need to test this next time. Actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't think it's. It wasn't that much. If your lives depended on you winning a game against the other one, what game would you play? I know what you'd pick. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sure he'd pick my number one. Just statistically right? speaking, I'll go with that because blood I blood rage, blood rage, yeah. yeah. Huh? I don't know. Oh, uh, I guess if we're going with like recent statistic plays, I would, I would go with um, Hanami Koji. Yeah, I, yeah, I suck I at that game. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a good one. I'm bad at it. I routinely win in the first round against you on that one. Is Starbucks a fast food restaurant? Yes. Yeah. They have a drive through. They have a drive through. They sell food. They sell drinks. I so. actually thought you guys would say no. All right. Um, name a game that looks relatively simple to play, but actually is deceptively hard. Uh, maybe something like uh, hard in like complexity or decisions you have to make. Oh, no. Yeah, I know. <laughs> What's that one with the tiles that are double sided? Uh, the abstract game, Tom? Wooly Bully? No. <laughs> wooden tiles. The abstract. Wooden tiles. You pull them out of a bag, you put them on the board. Every time they move, they flip. The Duke. The Duke. Yeah. I'm going to say the Duke. It looks pretty simple, it looks pretty straightforward, but the interactions, how to play, how to play well, there's a lot there. Hmm. So I'll go with that. Uh, what uh, version of Pandemic should one start yes, with? I don't get the answer. Oh, sorry. Uh, I was... Recently, I played a game called uh, uh, Raise Your Goblets. That looks looks very, very simple, but being good at it, hmm. I think, would be very difficult. Because yeah, there's a very strong um, memory element to it, but on the th- at the same time, it's... Uh, um, trying to score maximum points would, would be difficult. Okay. But that's, that's it. What was the pandemic question? <clears throat> what pandemic should I start with? Basic pandemic's fine for that. There, if you don't know any of them, I would say, I mean, they're all fine, really, to start with. None of them, except maybe Legacy, I might not start with Legacy off the bat, because it's considerably I would say more complex than the others but it's more fun than the others too it, it, it could very well be I'm just saying it's if you want to like figure out how to play Pandemic Cthulhu or Iberia or Basic Pandemic are all about as complex Cthulhu's a little more lucky maybe if, you're, if, if that's kind of what you want you can go with that where is the strangest place you found a lost game component hmm <laughs> Hmm. I wear that weird. I bo bo bo. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to. So yeah, I'm trying to think of the floor. All the different. The fridge. I mean, I found them in the my fridge? in my kid's toy box. <laughs> I mean, I found them in my kid's toy box. I mean, that's that's not really strange if you have kids, but it's better than stool. Uh, that's disgusting. Yeah, I found a button in that once. My kid ate a button, and we found it in his diaper. It was when he was a little kid. So. <laughs> Didn't know he ate a button, so. Came to right. just fine. Um, what non-gaming YouTube channels do you find most interesting or entertaining? None. I like the, uh, how I should have, not the, sh- not the how I should have ended, the, uh, honest trailers. 
Mm. I like watching that stuff. Honest trailers. Yeah, or, I guess I watch a lot of trailers on YouTube. Like um, bad bad lip reading or whatever stuff is yeah, hilarious. Bad lip Tom, reading, yeah. Tom showed us one of those. Um, I watch a lot of music videos on, on YouTube as well. Um, but no one particular channel, I guess. Uh, Sam, do you have extra copies of games that you bring to youth group? Because the games that I bring to youth group, says this person, get all beat up. Yeah, uh, I, my, I'm going to have to, if I decide to keep the game, I, I don't know if I'm going to or not, I'm going to have to get another copy of Kings, because the first time I brought it out with the mid middle schoolers, um, they, they like, wrecked two or three of the cards. And I mean wrecked, like, <laughs> creased. It was uh, all I could do not to uh, lose it, but um, I didn't. Uh, it, it was, yeah, I, no, I don't. Uh, I try to bring games that are durable, so just for that specific reason, they're not used to playing games, they're not used to, they're not familiar with the concept of, I need to take care of this, and I find myself reminding them often, you know, hey, this is a $40 game that you're playing with right now, and, you know, this is a $50 game that you're playing with right now, so come on, let's take, take it easy. Um, and, and usually they catch on pretty quick. The older ones I, I don't have a problem with. The younger ones, <laughs> I'm very, very careful with Just whatever. Just play Box of Rocks with them. Yeah, that's true. They'll probably throw them at each other, though. Mm -hmm. um, do you guys play, did you play more casual or gateway games in a cruise, or were you all over the map? I played, every single game I think I played was a game I knew already. I was mostly teaching. I just wanted to show some of the games I really liked off to other people like that's what i was doing i was teaching bringing people in running games myself stuff i've really liked this year mostly mm. i don't think i played one game i didn't know already i did i played well i played two games that i didn't that i hadn't played by myself before i, I one game was v commandos and and i've been i've played the game twice before the cruise but it was both of those times with, with the designer so I don't really count those as being a first time that I've played the game because it's mm. mainly just him. Uh, the other one was Raise Your Goblets by by Coleman or not, and I had um, Eric and I at Essen stumbled through a two player version of the game, which is really bad. Um, so uh, those are two games that I played that I don't count myself as ever playing having played before. But I also played some you know some oldies. Uh, bang the dice game, uh, Nexus Ops. We played a game of that. Uh, a lot of uh, yeah, ba basically just stuff that already knew how to play, except for those two. What's your favorite cosmic encounter, Alien? Hmm, I like the one. I don't remember what it's called. I like the one that can uh, go along for the fight even when they don't get invited. What's that called? Uh. That's not the mood. No. The, uh, the some I don't know. That's my favorite alien. I love. Well, I like to role play that up. The whole like, hey buddy, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> Where who are we attacking today? I like all of that stuff. But that alien is super powerful too. I don't really have a favorite one. I don't think I've played the same one twice. Although I might have, but I don't. I don't recall. You have to play a lot to um, to need to do that. Um, what's your favorite classic arcade game? Galaga. That's mm. Parasite, by the way. Z. Parasite, yeah, yeah, love it. Favorite arcade game? I don't know. Maybe some of the. Uh, racing ones from way back in the day but those are not even that old those are not as old as something like Galaga or Centipede or something um I, mean, they, I don't know they say arcade game right not yeah not yet I don't know all right what was your favorite thing to do in the cruise besides gaming and eating <laughs> it's a good thing they eliminated eating I know. I what I did that, that I thought was fantastic was I I got to catch three different shows that they had live shows, and so we got to see a uh, 
like a musical variety show called Once Upon a Time, kind of based on fairy tales but with modern music. They did a... Which was uh, good. Which was great. They did Grease. Did you see the Grease show? I did, yeah, yeah. Which was fine. It was really good also, but it was the one I liked the least of the three. And then the other, the third show I saw was a skating show called Freeze Frame. Oh. And ice skating. And that was crazy. I think the amazing thing about the ice skating thing is that the boat was rocking yeah, the whole yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they still stuck most of their landings. A couple people fell. but uh, I didn't see anybody fall when I saw it. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, well, th- you probably saw the first showing that day. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, but they all I stuck went, it. It was great. Yeah, I went to the second show. And there were a couple falls, but, I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're doing this on crazy. our teeter-tottering ship. It's amazing. Yeah. Grease was good, but it was even more raunchy than the movie was. Sure, I guess. I don't like Grease that much. Yeah. The, 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 it, seemed like, it seemed like to me, I, again, I haven't seen the movie in, in forever, but it seemed like to me that the movie was not nearly as raunchy as the Broadway musical that we saw. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It was not. I've seen them both. I mean, it was, it was, <laughs> I mean, it, seem, it seemed like they changed some of the words in the song to make it more modern, and I don't know why they did that, but it just, it's unfortunate because, you know, why, why, Try to fix something that isn't broken, you know that type of thing. Did you do the Titanic thing at the front of the ship? Um, no. no. Would you skydive if you were given a chance? No. <laughs> Why not? See? I'll go hang out at the front of the ship first before <laughs> I go do that. Um, I don't know. I'd have to find a parachute big enough for me, I guess. I did see that. That'd uh, be the one thing I'd be really afraid of. I was, uh, give me the right. Size parachute. <laughs> I was flipping through the channels on in, in our room on the ship, and uh, they were showing off like the new ship they just built. Apparently, mm-hmm. it's like a 2016 build, and on that ship they have indoor skydiving. Yeah, it's like a tube yeah, at the top one. of the ship. It's see through. Yeah, and you go in, you know, and they do the whole like turbine thing where you're like floating there. <laughs> Somebody like ratches up the turbine. <laughs> We'll <laughs> what do you guys think of Arena of the Planeswalkers? Magic the Gathering board game. I have no inclination to play that over Hero Escape. I forgot it existed. I didn't forget it existed, but it is worthy of forgetting. Any thoughts on Tail Feathers? I forgot it existed. <laughs> um... I've I was, never played it, actually. I was really excited to play it, and after I did play it a couple times, I was really, really, really disappointed at how convoluted and complex the rules were, and I didn't feel that they needed to be. Um, it's like they took something that was relatively simple, like X-Wing and or Wings of War or something like that, and just said, how can we make this different, and got caught up in making it different. Um, and then it just became this new beast that's just bloated and a birdie beast unnecessary. So I really wanted to like it, but I ended up really not liking it. Okay. Hey, I'm new to board games. Hey, and hi. I don't buy everything I lay my eyes upon. Don't do don't that. Do, <laughs> don't do that. How many games would you say is enough for a group of new players? Four. Depends on the group, I guess. Seven, then. Um, how big is the group? I mean, Eight is it people? Like ten people? Or ten you can games. have two, five, five player games going. Um, Twenty or less. Games. Fewer games. Sorry. Is that what you're going with? Twenty? Sure. Twenty games is plenty. Just don't, don't go nuts, you know. Exp- explore the ones you've got. Figure out what looks good, play a bunch of that, and then the more you play of the ones you have, the better choices you'll make in the future. And going together with with each other on games. If you have a group, you know, a group thing, I guess or, you could do or that. just take turns buying games. Yeah, yeah, you can do that, right. Um, if we counted up all the money you spent at fast food restaurants over your life, which one wins? Oh, jeez. I'll be the one that I frequent the most. Isn't that kind of what they're asking? That's a really convoluted way of asking which fast food place do you go to the most? Starbucks. 
<laughs> no. <laughs> no. That's not fast food anyway. I can't change your mind halfway through the Q&A. Yes, I can. I think he did. No, I don't know. Taco Bell, maybe? <sighs> yeah, that would be a probably be a, a cross between Wendy's and Taco Bell, I would imagine. Wendy's Bell. <clears throat> Ooh, I'd go there. Or Taco D's. Wendy's used to have a taco bar <laughs> back in the 90s. A taco bar? Yeah, do you remember the super bar Wendy's had? You get, it was like a little... I remember a taco bar. salad that they had. I don't remember a taco bar. Okay. Anyway, um, what app on your phone is getting the most play time at the moment? Play is time? it a game? Okay, I guess so. What game on your phone is getting the most play? I The one I play the most is Sudoku. That's exactly what I use it for, too. To try to fall asleep. No, I really like Sudoku. You must have trouble getting to sleep, then. Yep. Uh, I would imagine that uh, Small World 2 is... We've been is, digging on that up for a while now. Yeah. Well, it's... I like the game, and it's really... It's really got a, it's got a really easy interface. Yeah. So, it's really cool. Uh, what do you guys think of the, the King of Tokyo Cookie Monster? <laughs> Looks cool. Yeah, I've it seen does. it. I saw, I saw one. Um, that's neat. I like more monsters, you know. I... I now the thing with the monsters, it's having the extra monsters is awesome. I also in the back of my head feel like, oh man, I wish I had power up cards for these. Yeah. But if you're teaching the game to new people a bunch anyway, which I often find myself doing, then yeah, having the extra monsters is just fun. And allowing someone to be, to you know, like having twenty monsters out there and being like, here, pick which one you like. The more choice you know, the more choices they have, the more involved they're gonna be in the game while I'm teaching, while they're playing. So if that cookie monster does it for them, then yeah, it's great. Mm -hmm. I like it. What is your favorite flying frog game? Oh, I've only played a couple. Last Night on Earth. Yeah, I think I'm gonna say Last Night on Earth too, but that's I don't I don't really like that game. I haven't been able to play Shadows of Brimstone, so. Yeah, um, I've only played two. I played Last Night on Earth, and I played the one right after that. I have a suspicion that I would like Shadows of Brimstone, or Shadows yeah, Shadows of Brimstone, yeah. Yeah. But I, I've never been able to play it. Yeah, I feel that way, too. And it doesn't have the photos, right? It's like just a regular art. art. Yeah, that doesn't bother me as much. Yeah, I don't like that stuff. So I might like Shadows of Brimstone, but I've never played it. Um, what was the most outrageous, I guess, or... Just weirdest thing you saw on the cruise. Outrageous, outrageous or, weird. or weirdest. Well, the strangest thing, I, I didn't really see anything outlandish, but the strangest thing, and I guess it's not really strange now that I think about it, but um, I was going back to my room later at night one night, and I just happened to step into an elevator that was literally full of drunk people and they were all very loud it's the longest elevator ride i've ever had did you join in no i did not <coughs> I, felt, I was very uncomfortable because you know they were all trying to all the guys are trying to one up themselves <coughs> each other in front of the girls you know it was it was chock full of drunken bravado and i was very un these were not dice car crews not that i'm games. aware of no <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I had any moments like that. There was a group of dudes walking around one night late at night who were all wearing, <coughs> like, instead of having, like, black or whatever, like, solid colored pants and, like, loud shirts, they all had solid white shirts, I think, or black shirts and really loud pants. Mm. It looked like someone had, like, uh, assaulted a, uh, a fabric store <laughs> and just <laughs> gone to town sewing, like, bizarre pants. They were all just weird and I assume if they weren't drunk yet they soon would be um, if you had to choose one would you go on Daystar Con or Daystar Cruise hmm hmm I would probably say my my family would, would say the cruise myself I would probably say the con uh, just because the the uh, lack of family. No, 
I'm taking my family this year um, to Dice Tower Con. It would be the, the, the lack of comfort. Not that the rooms on the ship were bad and uncomfortable, but the ones at the hotel are more comfortable sure. and more spacious and that type of stuff. So that, that would be the main reason for me. Yeah, yeah, I can see that too. Um, it's also a little bit tough to, like you're on this amazing ship with all these experiences you can, you can have. It's <coughs> kind of tough to get all the gaming in that you want, you know what I mean? It's like, okay, well, I got a show coming up in a few minutes. I got to go do that. Then I run back. Wait, there's this other thing going on. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll get a game in here real quick and then right. go do that. So, yeah, I, I, I think they're both spectacular, but Dice Tower Con is almost more about the gaming. The other one is more about an amazing experience with gaming in it. Somewhere. Yeah. Why is Z so into collecting dead CCGs? Say what? <laughs> Uh, I don't. I don't collect dead CCGs that much. In fact, I've gotten rid of a few. I just have always enjoyed the idea of trying old dead collectible card games. But if they were awful, and many times they were awful, I would just get rid of them. And, you know, I, and I got into them cheap because they were dead, and they, you could get a box and two starters for five bucks on eBay. You know. So I'd get it. I'd mess with it a little bit. I'd either discover I liked it or thought it was awful. Yeah. And right now I own maybe eight or so, you know? That's how many CCGs I have now. And there's over a hundred probably. Hmm. So. What's your favorite Christmas movie? Die Hard. A Christmas story. It's was, not a Christmas movie. That was my follow-up. Is Die Hard a Christmas movie? No, it is not. That is not a Christmas movie. It is an action movie that just happens to be set during a Christmas time. Hence, a Christmas no. Is Reindeer time. Games a Christmas movie? Yeah. No. Every movie with Ben Affleck is a Christmas movie. <laughs> I guess that just got super creepy. No, I don't. I don't know. Um, Christmas Story. The You'll Shoot Your Eye Out. Ralphie. Pink bunny outfit. That. that. Trying to give me some choices. I don't know. I don't know. I can't think of one that I I, I don't have like a movie. Um, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, Probably second place would be Jim Carrey's The Grinch Who Stole Christmas. That would be that, that's I enjoy watching that one too. I don't have like a movie watching tradition for any time of year. I should probably do that, make it a thing. But Halloween, I don't have a movie that I'm like, oh, during Halloween we watch this, or during Christmas we watch this. I just oh, don't do it. Free. Um, Hellraiser, Hellraiser three. My good. New gamer here. I played Shadows Over Camelot for the first time last weekend, and it seemed like the trader and game have the advantage. How often does the game beat the players in your experience? Well, I'll let you guys answer this because apparently you two are amazing at it. I I get whooped in that game. Yeah, yeah. It's it's probably fifty fifty for us too. There was a time where it seemed like we we won a lot, but. Um, it's simply, um, uh, I, you suck at it. No, no, I'm fairly decent at it, but you're great at it. I'm great at picking you out of a crowd whenever you've been the trader. Yeah. I'm a bad trader in that game. Um, I don't know. That sounds like a, a, a an early on problem that you have with the game and I'm not turning this into you're playing the game wrong thing but all I'm saying is that when there are certain things that the trader will tend to do in my experience mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. are the best things for them to do and when mm -hmm. you start recognizing people who are doing that a lot it becomes a lot more difficult for the trader to win because the other people are keen on the best thing to do for the trader mm -hmm. So just um, play better, basically, is what Sam's saying. He's such a troll. Good night. <sighs> Sam has mentioned several times in the past that Florida is just too hot. It is. If you can move anywhere and friend, family, friends, income are not affected, where would you go? Family, friends, and income are not affected. Um, my initial, my initial reaction to that question would be. Chicago, 
but that's more I think because that's where all my favorite sports teams are. Um, I really liked living in the the East Bay area uh, in San Francisco, California, that area. The climate is amazing. It's like a median temperature of like 76, 75. All the time, pretty much. Well, yeah. I mean, it's it's just amazing. I mean, it, it spikes in the summer and it dips in the in the winter, but it's pretty much very it's like a little a micro very bubble. temperate region. It's a microclimate yeah. in that region. <clears throat> so I really, I mean, but it's really expensive to live there. Um, so I don't know. I I don't dislike living in Florida. I just wish it weren't as hot and humid. There's a big argument here on whether Die Hard is a Christmas movie or not. It is now, absolutely is not. And now Gremlins is... <laughs> Gremlins <laughs> isn't either! Oh my goodness. Big time. Big time. This guy says, One of the fundamental themes of classic Christmas movies is the idea of rebirth and reconciliation. Those themes are there with Die Hard. Also, throwing people from tall buildings. <laughs> I think is seen in several Christmas movies. Certainly in Die Hard. Okay, so... <laughs> um, what is your uh, would you like to get board games as Christmas presents and have you ever gotten a good board game as a Christmas present Great yeah yeah I mean I, would I like to give them as well is that the question well yeah answer all those questions <laughs> as far as giving them I have to make sure that when I am giving the Christmas present of a or any any time right anytime I'm giving a gift if it's a board game I have to make sure that I'm not projecting myself onto those people that I'm giving the game to. Yeah. I got to make sure that they would enjoy a game, and it's not me going, you know, I'm a huge computer guy. So hey, here's a new keyboard. Look at it; it's Bluetooth, and they have this one. It's like, well, who cares? Yeah. That's a gift for you, right. not for me, right? right? So I have to make sure that the people I'm giving the gift to would also enjoy the game. I'm not just psyched for them, you know. Mm -hmm. As far as getting gifts uh, that are games, I haven't really in, in several years, but I used to when I was getting into the hobby. You know, I distinctly remember getting uh, birthday gifts that were games and Christmas gifts that were games, and I'm just psyched. I loved it. So, yeah, I know how fun that is. I know how exciting that can be. But, yeah, I've been in the hobby now for a while, and so... And I have a really big collection, so no, it's it's not something I really get anymore. Yeah, you know. same thing here. I don't really get a whole lot of uh, games for anything really, unless I'm purchasing it for myself, saying yeah. happy birthday to me. But that doesn't even happen very often either. Um, I I have gotten them in the past. Um, one of the first games my wife bought for me was a Christmas gift. It was Carcassonne. Oof. That was more, I think, a, a buy for her because she liked it a lot. But we were, you know, it was still thoughtful and, and um, she knew that I was big into the hobby and, and we hit, didn't own that game yet. So all of that was good. Uh, but I usually don't give board games as gifts unless... Like you were saying, I know that the person is going to like it as yeah. much as I want them to like it. I've done it a little bit, but it's typically party games. You know, I've given some party games as gifts. Right. Real light stuff, you yeah. know. it's that That's okay, but giving someone some heavy Euro game when they're not even in the hobby, or I, I'm hoping no, they will yeah. be, that's just... That's... not That not could cool. be seen as almost cruel and unusual punishment because then they feel obligated to keep the thing to maybe even play it with you they might not be interested in that you know right now nah. speaking of christmas presents this is for sam i'm pretty sure he said he wanted it yeah merry christmas the poo poo game the poo poo game for sam that's a everybody terrible picture on the front too yes it is. that's uh that's a christmas gift for sam the poo poo game is it in You also want a poop game? I <laughs> no. How about a good game for me? I wonder what that is. This is one of those games that where... That is literally a bag of poop right there. And it's got little poo-poos in there. Look at that. This is one of those games where I'm not going to, you know, trick it out. <laughs> <laughs> no, you did. Look at that. There's definitely little curly poos in here. Oh, goodness. I want some of that unicorn poo. 
Oh yeah. See that that's poo. Are you like letting cows into your latrine? What is that? Hey man, if they can pay. <laughs> Logs. <laughs> you like this game and you know it. The game was okay. It was funny though, playing it. It was fun. It was too long, honestly. It was funny because of the novelty of, hey, look at this game. It's about running a latrine in Rome and people come in and poop. Which is, I think, why you like it. Here's all the toilets. <laughs> okay. We have any other questions? Maybe grown up ones. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do when sleeving your cards no longer fit in the box? I'm don't, definitely sleeving these cards. Don't sleeve the cards? <laughs> That's a really weird question. Wait, what? What do you do if you sleeve cards and they don't fit, and the they don't fit in the box? box? You don't sleeve the cards. Yep. I'm not going to get rid of the box. Why not? That's crazy. A lot no. of, well, I'm I mean, not, not going to sleeve the cards. A lot of card games, you can get rid of the box. And you have find some other container oh, for them. No, no, I don't do that. Well, I'd rather the just the not sleeve The argument them. about a movie I've ever seen. <laughs> That's because we are right. I don't think there's a stronger family theme than fighting terrorists to save your loved ones during the holidays. Oh my goodness. But what if it wasn't during the holidays? Would it still be a Christmas movie? No! Of course not. But That's he's the saying only it reason is. people... Th no, you're saying you that said it if is. it wasn't, would it still be a Christmas movie? And you said no, hence. It is a Christmas movie. No, it's not that a Christmas is the, movie. Is, is, is Die Hard 3 Die Harder? No, that's 2. Die Hard 3, Die Hard with a Vengeance. Is that a Christmas movie? No, none right. of them are. Number one is. None of them die are. Die Hard 1, <laughs> Die Again. Just because the movie takes place <laughs> during Christmas time, it does not mean that it is a Christmas movie. I think no. it is. I think if you remove the air quotes. <laughs> no. Bam. Christmas movie. What is Tom Vassell's most wrong opinion on a game? Um, let's see. What do you not like or like that I disagree with? I'm going to definitely go with the one that you're probably thinking I'm going to go with. And, that, and I can't remember the name of it right now. It's that card game that oh, wants oh, to be a miniature game. I know which game. one. Battlegrounds Fantasy Warfare. Battlegrounds Fantasy And I'm going to go with Warfare, Duel yeah. of Ages. Oh, that's a very close number two. Tool of Ages. Yeah. Oh, that game is bad. Yeah. I saw you showing that book off, by the way, in your live Q and A. Yeah. What put? He has this book, like a compendium, where like a th it's a book that's that thick about Duel of Ages two. It comes with every character, how to play that character well, how to set up the map. It's like a it's a novel sized book. Nope. I'm not saying the book is necessary or even needed. Sam, they said you need to say Die Hard the Christmas movie for Alan Rickman's sake. No. Yeah, that's manipulation, <laughs> dude. No. Dang. Do you all like killer I, I would imagine Alan Rickman would agree with me. Apparently Die Hard 2 also takes place at Christmas time. Don't yes. care. But not three, I think. Again, just because anyway. it takes place at Christmas does not, in and of itself, make it a Christmas movie. Uh, anyway, um, what, what was the question? Okay. Was there a game that you were planning to review, then you played it, decided not to spend the effort making your review? Do we really want to talk about that? Actually, you already it? mentioned one from Black Hat Games. Tail Feathers, yeah. I don't know. I'm trying to think. No, because I've reviewed some games I really didn't want to review. But I played them, I'm like, okay, I'll review them. Typically, it's more, I just don't get to play the game. You know, because it's, I can't find people to play with, because the game is so obtuse, because the game is so silly, it's so bad. I just can't convince people to take that kind of punishment. With, with Tail Feathers, we got it late, after it already hit. And... We were going to do more with it, but it just started getting like no press. And since I didn't like it, I didn't want to like, you know, 
I keep on beating it up. Yeah, Kick yeah, a dead yeah. horse. Yeah, yeah. So that's kind of why I chose not to do it. Not that it's dead, but that's just a phrase. It's also not a horse. Right. It's a pandemic at Christmas game. All right, anyway. <laughs> I don't know. Do you play it on Christmas Day? Because then it would be a Christmas game. How hot was it on the Dice Tower Cruise? It wasn't at all, really. 75, 80 at most. Yeah, it was fine. It was, I think it the was hottest was when we were standing in line for the mustard drill. Yes. That was the hottest point. Yeah, right? yeah, and we were still here, so... Yeah, that was after we came back. No, no, no. No, for the mustard drill was us in port still before we left. Oh, well, pff, I was in the pyramid lounge. I don't know what you guys are worried about. We were I, outside I, I where was, you are. I was like, we I were was like by lounging, the, bruh. Yeah, well, if something had happened, we know where the... Uh, where the uh, safety rafts are. He'd be like, so we just stay in the theater, yes? It's, oh, it's a water show. Oh, well. It was a drill. Yeah, that's right. Uh, oh so that was going to be safe. Um, okay, I'm trying to like sort through the arguments over <laughs> diehard gremlins. Pandemic, Hanukkah. Come um, on, guys. Christmas promos. Uh, Krampus. Disrespect the out Rick, Rick, Rickman Galaxy Quest. I don't know how that got in there. Galaxy Rickman Quest. because of Rickman. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's not even making any sense anymore. How do you feel about Christmas parties? Well, we have a, a company Christmas party. I don't know because it's Christmas on a Sunday this year, which kind of changes everything. Yeah, it does. It does? Well, we'll, we'll probably still do Christmas dinner, the, the shrimp and sausage fest. <laughs> I don't know. It's fine. It's a party. Yeah. Kind of a weird question we is that? We probably play the fewest board games at our parties than anybody else. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sure. Well, I mean, because yeah. I guess for me, having a, a board game party and having a party are two different things. You know, if you know people are coming over for board games. But most gatherings don't. Like, I'll have people over to my place sometimes, and I, I let them know, hey, we're probably going to play some games. But I don't. Invite people over and then like spring games on them. Typically, you know that's if it's not the if the gathering's not about that. Let's just hang out and have a good time, have some food, relax, whatever you know. Do you guys like Richard Brees games? You know, I don't know if I've played more than like one or two of his games. I don't tend to like his a lot style. Of dragons, I think. Keep our cathedral, keep them. No. Aladdin's Dragons is the only one that I remember playing with any yeah. close proximity to the present, and um, I, I wasn't that impressed with it. I don't tend to like his style, I guess. All right. Quad Rage or Rising Sun? I'm asking you guys because I'm tired of people asking me since I haven't played Rising Sun. I haven't played Rising Sun technically either. Well, yes, you have, technically. I've played two-thirds of one prototype game of it. Right, which is pretty much a finished product as far as mechan mechanisms were concerned. I guess. It's just I'm not completely... I'm not 100% comfortable saying, oh, I like this game. This game's better than this since the game is not out. It's not finished. Like, again, you got to take whatever we're going to tell you here with a grain of salt. I just want to make sure people know that. For me, I like Blood Rage better. So do I. But that's not to say that Rising Sun is not a good game. Right. How we have experienced it so far. It's really, really neat, actually. Yeah, it's solid. It's well put together. My main thing I walked away with thinking that part is not as thrilling for me was the combat mechanism. I was not... It might grow on me. I was not a big fan of the combat mechanism. Because he got taken. It's because it's a bidding system. Okay, he got taken. He didn't understand how it worked while we were playing the game. I, no, I think I figured it out once. Once I figured out, oh, if you do, if you take <laughs> someone hostage before I attack you, then you win. Okay. If you only have one dude. If I only have one dude yeah. and you like somehow grab him and put him in a sack before he kills you, yes. Right. If you have one dog in the fight and I sack him, you no longer have the ability to fight. Right. Right. But it is a blind bidding. Yeah combat mechanism i don't i don't think I'm, I'm crazy saying that and having someone out there go oh that's gonna happen and 
you might love it. It might be amazing. It might be absolutely balanced. I found it to be okay. It might grow on me. It might not. I don't know. The rest of the game, fantastic. Combat mechanism, okay. Yep. What are your thoughts on the start player deck? A deck that lets you choose to start player randomly, or using a, or using a device in the phone or something to pick a start player. I don't know what it's called, but the one where you put your finger on it, everybody puts their finger on it, and then it picks one for you. That's probably the best one for me. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I don't tend to. The deck of cards, that was gimmicky at best. I've never used it, the, the deck of cards. Um, if someone has an app to pick star player, cool. I don't have one. I don't think I need an app on my phone to pick a star player. I usually Just pick a random star player. Who's I've teaching all, the game? Who knows the game? You go first, you know? I've used the fickle finger of fate before. The little, yeah, the little spins. thing that spins on the table. Yeah. I, kind of, if you get a good spin on it, it could take too long. You're like sitting there going, okay. Well, the problem is you got to have it. You, you know, have dude, to. Oh, sorry, sorry, that was bad. You have to, you have to have it in your pocket or whatever too. You know. True. Why? Wow, this is a weird question. What would be the worst board game component to swallow? <laughs> There's so very many. I don't know. Probably like a pyramid from Looney Labs pyramid. I would go with a TI three box. <laughs> yeah, everything in it. Yeah. <laughs> So it'll cut on the way down, and then, heaven forbid, you have to regurgitate it. It'll cut on the way up. Oh, it's horrible. Yeah. Okay. It is time for the, what do we call that? Lightning round? Lightning, Lightning round. round. Lightning round, okay. Okay. All right, let's do it. Go. No political, no <clears throat> controversial, I don't know. Two things, and Sam and Z will pick between them, and we'll see if they are right or wrong, I will tell you. Okay, go. <laughs> Okay, so for example, you could say ketchup or mustard. By the way, earlier we were saying the ketchup. word mustard, not mustard drill. Yes, yes mustard. Like mustard to drill. Mustard. You must be able to eat a spoon of mustard to get on the boat. I could eat a spoon of mustard. I could too. Who couldn't? It's a pretty. It's a pretty cool uh, anti yeah. antacid, actually. If you're having. I'm not saying I actually do eat spoons <coughs> of mustard. Can it no, be, no, no, can no, it no. be it's like it's Dijon? A, it's a natural remedy. Can it be like brown mustard, for example, or spicy mustard? Spicy mustard. All right, tacos or burritos? Burritos. Burritos. We've answered that before. Okay, well, it was wrong then. Um, <laughs> Die Hard or Gremlins? <laughs> Die Hard. Die Hard. For best Christmas movie? Die Hard. Neither. Die Hard. <laughs> I abstain from that foolishness. <laughs> Die Hard. Abyss or Ticket to Ride? Ticket to Ride. Ooh. Man, those are both good. Yeah. yeah, all right. I'll go with Ticket to Ride too. I think. Firefly or Star Trek? Firefly. Firefly, yeah. RC or Coke? Coke. RC. Really? Yeah. Cat or Gopher? <laughs> Is this go like for dinner? Gopher. I'm going to Gopher. Die Hard or Lethal Weapon? Lethal Weapon. By far. Die Hard. As a Christmas movie? Neither. <laughs> <laughs> it's kicking us up here at Christmas game if you play with the gingerbread man. Okay, anyway. Um, That's right. <laughs> Games Workshop or Fantasy Flight? Fantasy Flight. <sighs> um, this is difficult. Depends on what kind of game we're talking about. If it's a miniatures game, more than likely, as far as, well, miniatures quality, Games Workshop by far. Game quality, probably... Uh, Fantasy Flight, but again, it depends on the game. Christmas well, presents or Christmas cookies? Christmas presents. Cookies. Sunny or rainy? Rainy. Rainy, because then it's cooler. Weird. Uh, dr Han Solo or Luke Skywalker? Han Solo. Solo. Dragon or unicorn? Dragons. Dragons. Christmas or Die Hard? <laughs> Christmas. <laughs> 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 uh, all right. Dice masters or quarriers? Dice masters. Dice masters. I guess. Yeah. Conan or 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 Krull? Is it Krull or I, I missed it? it? Just slipped. Conan or Krull? Krull? Conan. Conan, yeah. 
Although Kroll oh, Kull is... or Kull. K U L L. Sorry. That's Kroll, I think. Is that Kroll? I maybe I spelled it wrong. It's K R U L L. Are you talking about the movie Kroll? I don't know. Yeah, like the character. No. Didn't Kevin Sorbo play that guy? Yeah. yeah. That's what I'm thinking of. Kroll um, the Conqueror or whatever. I don't oh, okay, maybe that was called Kroll the Conqueror, but there's another movie called Kroll. Where there's this like star shaped thing that guy throws and he can control it with his hands. It's a. Uh, yeah, that oh, okay. has Liam Neeson in it as like a minor, minor character. Oh, okay. It's really neat. I, I would pick that one over. Cold pasta or hot pasta? What? Hot. Cold or hot pasta? Yeah. Hot, hot yeah. Definitely. Rye or pumpernickel? Rye. Yeah, rye. Die Hard or a non Christmas movie? A, a, I am stained. I guess I'll take a non-Christmas movie. <laughs> There's so many good choices there. Um, Michael Jordan or LeBron James? Michael Jordan. Don't care. LeBron James is not even in the same category. Bilbo or Frodo? Bilbo. Uh, yeah, Bilbo. Han Solo or Malcolm Reynolds? Oh, who's Malcolm? Ryan? Oh, the guy from from uh, Firefly. Yes, um, um, I like him since better. Since they're basically the same character, both. I like Malcolm Reynolds better. Gloves or mittens? Gloves. Yes, gloves. Um, west or east? Worldwide. Hmm, that's an interesting question because no matter where you are in the world, you can always go further east or west. I think they mean the west. But what part of the East? What part of the West are you talking about? And again, that's all a that's a relative question. I'm gonna say uh, I'm gonna say North. (laughs) All right, sugary food or meat and potatoes? Meat and potatoes. I like sugary food. Wood shelves or metal? Wood. Yeah. Road trip. Fly or drive? Drive. Drive. That's why they call it a road trip. Fly trip. Christmas Eve or Christmas morning? Morning. Yeah, Even like as far as ones. opening presents, is that what they're asking? You think? I don't know. That's which is better. Christmas Eve. That's kind of what I. Uh, Square Christmas tiling or hexagonal tiling? Hexagonal tiling. Yeah, that um, too. Probably Triangles. being for like a floor. I don't know. There's just hexagonal. Two I don't know. Wizard or warrior? Warrior. warrior. Kisses or hugs? Hugs. Depends. Raiders of the Lost Ark or Star Wars? Star Wars. Yeah, I'd have to go with that. Michael Keaton or Christian Bale? <laughs> Michael Keaton barely in first. Christian Bale I mean, is very if we're talking player. Batman, then Christian Bale. Rogue One or Episode Eight? I don't know yet. I'll get back to you. <laughs> well, yeah, in a year. I didn't say Episode Seven. That's true. Dumbledore um, or Gandalf? Gandalf. Dice or cards? Cards. Dice. Mickey or Minnie? Who cares? They yellow or green? Double. Huh? Yellow or green? Well, he likes yeah, green. green. I like yellow. Yeah. That's a uh, that's a manipulative question. Daddy Shack or Animal House? Oh, both are raunchy movies. I don't know if I've seen Body Danger both Field of those. is slightly more funny, so I'll go with. Uh, and Bill Murray's funny in Caddyshack too, so I'm going to go with Caddyshack. Okay, sure. Both raunchy, and I don't. Darkwing Duck record. or Rescue Rangers? <sighs> Rescue Rangers. Chevy or Ford? Ford. Chevy. Motorcycle or scooter? Motorcycle. Yes. Batman or Futurama? Batman. Batman. Die Hard or Home Alone? Die Hard. Home Alone. For the better Christmas movie? A Christmas movie. (laughs) Die Hard. Fist bump or high five? High five. Depends. Kick to the face or kick to the groin? Kick to the face. Face. (laughs) Lost Cities or Blue Moon Legend? Blue Moon Legend. Blue Moon Legend. I've never even played that. Ron Howard or Scorsese? Ron Howard is my favorite director. I'll so go Ron with, Howard. I'll go with Howard as well, yeah. Cool Mini or Not or Simon? Cool Mini or Not. I like saying Cool Mini or Not. Simon just sounds weird. It's not even C-M-O-N, right? It's Simon. Just Why don't you say come on? Maybe that is. <laughs> Donald or Daffy? Donald. They make a good couple. 
I robot or Ender's no. game? No. Wait. I robot. I misunderstood that. I was. Thank yeah, you. Your, your answer is really weird there. Okay, yeah, two o'clock. Go ahead. But what was the last one? I didn't see the last one. I got. I robot, robot or Ender's, Ender's game. game. I robot. Yeah, me too. Uh, Have you read I robot? Any of the books? Nope. They're good stuff too. All right, folks. We're gonna wrap this up. Um, I don't read books. You guys know that. Okay. Those of you that are still with us, the uh, uh, the ones that read books and uh, don't go for the poop jokes, we're sorry we lost you. But um, everybody who did stick with us, this is somehow turning into great. me like hitting on, like you know, like knocking them down though. Yeah. For the great, for the great diehard debate of 2016. Yes, thanks for <laughs> tuning in for that and being a part of the uh, the debate of the the Christmas debate of 2016, diehard edition. Anyway, we're going to wrap this up. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Thanks for all the questions. Thanks for joining us for a little bit of our silliness and and uh, what have you. Sam has got his Christmas Resting present. Resting my head on a box of poop. Okay. Anyway, we're going to call it. Thanks, everybody. Uh, I'm Z Garcia. That's Sam Healy Sam right there. Healy, what's up, y'all? And we are going to see you real soon. You've been watching The Dice Tower. Thank you. Have a good one. Dun 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 dun